stand-up comics, right? Stand-up comics, you meet someone who's just hilarious up front. And, uh, but interpersonally, they don't want to be cracking jokes anymore. They're, they're tired of that. They don't want you to try to upstage their jokes. So, the most uh, charismatic, blinding, truth-telling comic interpersonally may be you know, a whole different figure. They have problems with debting or under earning or the sex and love addiction and so you can you can bond over your shared participation in a in a 12 step program. <laughs> but uh, it's not gonna be a laugh fest. So I'm thinking that just by reframing and understanding what genre people are in or what genre they're in at the moment, we can let go of most of our need to go, oh, that person's a big fat jerk. Okay, Jim Goad has a razor sharp intellect. Razor sharp. I mean, word for word, he's the best writer in the United States today. Uh, he's going to be someone who, if you take advantage of him, uh, even if it's accidental or you try to use any kind of duplicitous reasoning he's just gonna spot it like that he's gonna call you out on it he's gonna confront you on it and he might even tweet about you and so recognize Jim Goat's genre the man's a wordsmith raises the sharp intellect he's not gonna put out with any BS and when he encounters it he's gonna call you out on it and if he thinks you're a liar, he's gonna say you're a liar. And uh, even if you've been on friendly terms with a dude for a decade or so, it's not gonna matter. He, he's just gonna call you out if he thinks that you're lying, prevaricating. That's part of the whole package of Jim Good. And on the one hand, you'll get a lot of insights that you won't get from uh, other people. But on the other hand, he's gonna challenge you. 